All right, fellas and fellets and fell. <laughs> and fell. <laughs> 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 Week 28, we got another Q&A to post things about and make Ooh. sure we get some questions, hopefully. Questions, <laughs> if people yeah. still have them at this point and aren't just <laughs> waiting for them. We probably have more questions than them. Yeah. That's just when you go on your alt and start asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta make an alt now, dang. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um... What happened last week? We were missing two homies last week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, quick recap. You guys left the town that you had uh, led to a slaughter in, in some way. You were kind of responsible, but, you know, like, you yeah. weren't well on it. <laughs> yeah, you know, like... <laughs> uh, back at the crossroads, you met with Silas's sister, quote-unquote, who was still under the thrall of some greater entity, supposedly the Sun God, who is a bit angsty about having to protect the world, but they still do it. You killed a Shadow Silas to get Silas's full essence back, so they're no longer <laughs> sick, not dying in the process. Hit, yeah, not before it one shot you. Oh, <laughs> jeez. But you're fine. You're alive still. Now. Currently. Mm. <sighs> Debatably. <laughs> Y'all made it back to the Bastion. Finding Graham and Melody vibrating in place as they were casting spells. Having fun. Uh, Viridian, your horse was here. Whirlwind was here. Along with the little dude, Mason, who yeah, seemed I'm to have escaped with it. them. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else touched Whirlwind. <laughs> kind of froze frame at you approaching them. Him. Like, roll mm -hmm. up your sleeves ready to deck a kid. Like, no one can see there's two horses in the way. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are blocked <laughs> by both sides. Even if I kill him, we'll be fine, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> He's died before. <laughs> Where'd he go? Um, You guys purchased things, or have the chance to purchase things, now that you'll have 400 more gold on whatever you had? If we divvied it out correctly. <clears throat> Everyone should have about 400 gold on top of whatever they already had. Hmm. I would like to purchase something, but I don't... Whenever that is appropriate to do, you just let me know. Absolutely appropriate, because I don't think there's anything else... Y'all really did other than that. You got, other than talk a lot <laughs> mm -hmm. about things, but... You ready I mean, for another entire session of just talking about <laughs> things? Yeah. Uh, Silas did wander off into the forest and, like, yeah. 1v1 a fiend and one-shot it, basically. <laughs> the magic weapon goes a long way. I got I got my counter-reversal, but uh, <laughs> an entire fight too late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you um, did what you did to yourself to a demon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I buy my thing now, then, or does anyone Absolutely. else have something to do? Absolutely. While everyone was chatting away and uh, doing whatever they were doing last session, what, what does Flotsam do? Flotsam saw Silas leave and Adelaide get angry at them, and then they healed themselves and then left because leaving on one health wasn't smart. <laughs> I would like to buy... Um, right now, technically, I have leather armor, and I mm -hmm. would like to buy studded leather armor, or if there's any other type of light armor that would be better than that, such as maybe like a plus one studded leather armor, I would um, like to... You can buy studded leather armor and then upgrade it to plus one. How much would that cost? Doing um, that thing? My the good, my good same friend. as upgrading to... Uh, yeah, 100 gold. So, 275 gold all up? Uh... Awesome. I will do that then. Absolutely. And I don't know, because we didn't talk about this, but uh, I do have something called integrated protection. Um, which will be the first time this comes up, that in order to don and doff armor, uh, in order to don armor, I have to incorporate it into my body over the course of an hour. Um, and to doff armor, I have to spend an hour removing it. 
So are they going to just kind of like patch me? <laughs> I don't know if you want to uh, say that as like they're repairing, not like repairing me, but like making upgrades to my body specifically. I don't know how that is, how you want that to work flavor wise. Um, I'm all for waving it and just saying you get like a cool new jacket if that's what you want. <laughs> That's completely fine. I would like a, one cool new jacket. Cool new jacket. Make <laughs> sure you don't want like a dope horn or anything <laughs> added on. You get like studs around that. your body, just so you're like riveted yeah. everywhere. <laughs> uh, Make I you want slightly it to look... taller. Oh yeah, what's yeah, the new like jacket look, look like? I would like it to just look like the same as my. Um... <laughs> Oh, you know what? You know what? Can I can I request something to go on the back of it? Absolutely. Uh, Harold is known like to it. be a great textilist. <laughs> if not, are they are they really? Known yeah, to be able, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> right. This wow. is going to be very one piece of me. Okay. You walk the up back. to them and you're like a new coat, and their eyes like light up, and you're like exactly the same as my old one. <laughs> uh, on the back to match with the color scheme uh, of the jacket, I want what I imagine would be the um, uh, Jolly Roger of uh, the Flaming Lady, <laughs> uh, and I want it to be uh, or the Fire Lady, and I want it to be like a skull and crossbones, but with like a like fire, like around like hell yeah, like, uh, beast in it. fire. Write that down. Write that down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> skull and crossbones. Is it wearing shades? Kind of pulling them down a little. Uh, no, the it's not. Oh, well, you're not lost. wearing shades. Uh, <laughs> really, that would be ridiculous, Chicky. <laughs> does, does it have like? Does it have some kind of like badass, like like tough guy quote under it? Like, don't talk to uh, me before my coffee, or like it says, it says, born to prank. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> One of those like military shirts. Like, uh, I love I those take it shirts. All back. Just put the just put the prank bug straight on. There. <laughs> I've switched allegiances. Rip the homie no, I... bug prank. Yeah, yeah. It, it literally just it just it says rip the homie, and then I, every homie that we've lost, I want oh. on there. I, I want on there. So it's just Silas's face like five times. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. There's a little tally tally marks for how many times. So what you time. want? Wait, wait, wait. So what you want is like a series of patches of all of our heads that you can then just sew on every time somebody dies to just correct, add to correct. it. No, I want just the skull and crossbones yes. with the fire. That's it. That's all that okay, we want. Yeah. <laughs> no, cool, no cool saying. So are, you gonna do, are you going to do just a regular skull or are you going to do a skull with two little horns? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, yes, I would like that as well. Absolutely. Right, I, <laughs> I, 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 I got the receipts. I can just come back to the video. Awesome. That would increase my armor class by two. Which Hell yeah, it would. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, yeah, it's been a lot over the past couple of battles getting hit and not, and taking all of the damage. <laughs> getting hit and be like, but my AC is 15. I'm impossible to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will look like plus eight to nine to hit. Yeah. That, how hit. much was uh, big, big boy leather armor? Um, Stunt level 75. I, mine was light armor. armor. Mine was light studded, armor. Uh, I think it's 75. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. For studded mm -hmm. armor. And then yeah. that's 200 uh, upgrade uh, armor. 200 upgrade. Yeah, so you gotta pay the base price Ooh, and then it's just the 200 upgrade. Ching. Um. Flotsam buys, like, this cool new coat. <laughs> and then Viridian steps up next in line. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also getting a, a set of Plus leather armor, then. Hell yeah! Heck yeah! What does yours look like? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So I had I had le I had regular leather, which is eleven plus your dex modifier. Yeah. If you get studded leather, it's twelve plus your dex modifier. Um, and then to that, I added another. I I got it upgraded to make it plus one. Right. That's where I was at. And also, um, integrated protection gives four forged plus one to AC no matter what. Oh, damn. So, yeah. That's pretty good. What's, That's pretty good. What's your dexterity? Three. <laughs> yeah, checks out. That's pretty nice. great. Someone's very protected now. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very dexterous. Um, I, I, I want to get it in the uh, Old Ava colors. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe with like a royal crest on the back, but aside from that, uh, just a very cool black piratey coat. Uh, <laughs> coat, oh, yeah. Pirate coat, mm -hmm. twins. <laughs> <laughs> Out here looking like a bell. Like Viridian pays Flotsam no mind, and then when they both walk away, he realizes they're both I wearing very similar coats. <laughs> 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 like a side eye. I give, give him a little nod back. <laughs> you both feel... Uh, a lot more extra padding to your clothes now. You feel uh, that much safer in this dangerous world. <laughs> I like the idea that Viridian is like, uh, give me the, the, the royal, uh, what was it? Like, coat, <laughs> coat of arms yeah. on the back. And it's just like a skull with fire as well. <laughs> <laughs> then also put a skull on fire on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, the flaming ladies, they're finally coming together. The uniform's <laughs> starting. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, we all doing get black this? leather jackets with the? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they are stuck. So you got like the shoulders covered in like the Dude. little spikes as mm -hmm. well. Dude, yeah, they black are... leather jackets. Yeah. Oh man! Oh, oh! Don't tempt me. <laughs> we like walk back to Ron. Ro Rossi's uh, Viridian and Flotsam walking back with cool jackets, and matching I, I, jackets. I, 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 I just like, uh, I spent all this money on a bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't feel sorry about it. I just needed to save my money for stuff in the future, and I'm looking at that. I'm like, oh, <laughs> looks cool. Yeah, it's you kind of gotta like buy it all. It was like. Adelaide's just got to buy the spells. They, they can't really purchase armor or weapons. You got to mm -hmm. buy armor, weapons, and spells. <laughs> yeah, I'm very uh, intensive with with my monetary needs. Unfortunately, <sighs> there's not really much for me to go into right now. So maybe I might just deposit this money in anywhere that would take it. The party storage in handouts. You should yeah. see a file you can edit. I just donate to a shop. You can give it to me. Give it to charity. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm. I'm well, I don't know. I'm saving it, but Comet wouldn't maybe, have. Maybe it. Melody wants something. You know. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> Buy him a spell book. He'll go wild with it. <laughs> Are you're thinking all the times that we've like died like yeah maybe i don't give it to melody maybe i'll need the money in the <laughs> <laughs> hmm. i will give well, the rest of my money i have 135 gold left raw if you want um to use any of that you can you can like have it if you like need to buy spells or, or if you need extra money for anything okay is it 75 one 135 is how much i have left or sorry, 125. Yeah, that's right. 125. And Flotsam is the captain, so if you also need uh, 564, you got it. <laughs> uh, Damn. Whew. I, uh, there are definitely things I want, but I'm right now I'm just saving for potentially more powerful magic or to make my swords better. Uh, but I don't. We don't, I think we have to go out and look for um, some way to to get access to that stuff. And I think it's probably going to have to be the city. So right now I'm just safe. I'm good then for purchasing. Mm. Well, uh, Adelaide, you're going to grab anything. You're going to talk to Grey Cat about getting stuff. Last time I feel. I mean, you're standing at him. <laughs> she was mostly just gonna like, uh, like, see what he has for sale. Just, just seeing what's available. Um, Not necessarily looking for anything specific. Absolutely everything on like the adventurer's gear table, like anything from that, is at abundance here. Like you want a thousand ball bearings, go at it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, in terms of anything like. Ornate or magical, he is going to run into the city at some point and grab some stuff. Um, but in terms of like actual magical items in this world, 
most things are just tied to essence or like little trinkets. Um, so maybe you could find some rings of certain types or amulets. Jewelry. Jewelry, since they're easy to enchant. Is that something he has now or he will get? He will get. But if it's okay, like a gotcha. particular one, you might want like a ring of jump, maybe. You want to jump better? You gotta... <laughs> <laughs> like you're seeking that ring of protection. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I want ring of make my armor class better. <laughs> <laughs> ring of protection. Okay, he'll, he'll keep an eye out for a ring of protection. Ring of just, no hit. Just mm -hmm. buy the cool jacket. You know you want to join. You have <laughs> to become a pirate, Adelaide. You have to get leather armor proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> it's light armor, right? They, you're, you're, I don't have any armor proficiency. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have any armor. Okay. Yeah. He's a wizard. All right, all right. Lightly armored feet. What if, uh, if you got a, um... You could ask if there's a ring of spell storing, and then you could store mage armor in there so you don't ever have to use your spell slots on that. Very true, very true. Multi-class into barbarian like we know that you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the water's just totally fine. Do. <laughs> the water's fine. <laughs> mm. Or a, cheap, a cheaper option. Make scrolls of mage armor, and then just use those. That will cost money. <laughs> and yeah, it'll, it'll money. keep costing money. It's uh, like a MMO subscription instead of just <laughs> buying the, the, the game. The game, but, yeah. it's, but it's money for spell slots later, though. It's just one spell slot per, like, eight hours, and that doesn't raise their AC any higher. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. I have seen whole games turned around by one spell mm -hmm. slot. I mean, right? you have no, one spell don't slot. Don't underestimate. No one. Mm -hmm. And get a shield Cut in to there. three hours later, and we're like, "Why is my level one spell not working?" <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess if that's all everyone kind of does for that afternoon, we can cut back uh... to someone who's out on their own right now. Try see if we can bring them back. See if we can get them back here. I mean, if the sun's starting the set, he's going to be heading back. Um, let's go to. Where you are, which I think is here. Um, where are these over here? And we'll, we'll, we'll just throw in a little bit of carnage for you. Let's 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 see what you've done in your in your rampage out here, Silas. We know you dealt with a a, a Varkulf who was carrying an undead. Um, you're only on 10 health. Excellent. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, throwing a, more, a couple more cool things for you to have killed, you know, over your, over your time slaying. Let's say you've killed these things. He's dead. Die. Thank you. Die. Die. <laughs> you, can, you can die on the stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's dynamic. <laughs> it is dynamic. How dare you? Only I, I get to like make the joke. Three times in my mind, but I was like, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> and let's say you're, you're angrily butchering a, a, a guard that's sauntered over to you right now. Let's say that's what you're currently doing. And, and as you're in this rage, kind of. Finally, pulling your blade that's coated in undead and fiend blood looking up, you do see the sun is starting to set, but your attention is kind of ripped back to the surroundings around you as you hear the uh, forest around you start to crack as if something's approaching you once more. And do you see kind of pressing their way through the forest is a... Uh, an, an ironclad warrior in fiery red armor making their way towards you. I don't think that has this their stats tied to it. But you see Abby in their flaming armor form with their fiery red eyes uh, 
making their way towards you with no real expression readable on their face. Let's put the one that has their name on it. Abby? No. Oh. And they seem uh. to address the carnage around you just by looking at it. Their weapons aren't drawn. Their sword and shield that they have are still on their back. Um, but after they assess what you have done, their gaze sets back upon you. At this point, uh, Silas's entire, like, left arm armor has just been completely destroyed and ripped off of him. Just because of how much... He's basically been using that arm as uh, a sacrificial <laughs> shield. <laughs> and he's just bread and blood. Um... Although they are, like, fully helmed, you do see a somewhat smile crack from the figure as they approach you more, kind of, assessing your weaponry and your fatigue. How how exhausted is Silas right now? Is it look like Silas can do a lot more with their time here? Probably just enough to walk back. Like, he's panting heavily and, like, his legs are like bowed inwards and he is just enough he's has just enough energy to stand uh the entity before you because i assume you <laughs> don't want to address this as your sister nor do they want to address you as your sister they kind of put their mm -hmm. hands on their hips and they kind of just give you a, an, an assertive nod that is the warrior i saw you once as not the one laying on grounds, crying about failure. Get out of here. And I just kind of twist the blade, pull it out of the undead. And then I'm just gonna start making my way back to town, because I have a promise to fulfill. They are call out as you start walking away. Perhaps your time was me with me was more beneficial than you might have thought. Clearly something has rubbed off in your time. He'll stop just before he like gets into the line of the woods. <sighs> you gave me the skill to fight. And one day I'll use that to destroy you. And that's a promise. And then I'll continue walking. Uh, you feel their burning gaze at the back of your head the entire time you walk. And then uh, you all at the... At the bastion, the babakin, uh See a, the silhouette of someone approaching the gates that are open... Not sure if anyone closed. Kill him! <laughs> Destroy him! <laughs> Man, the trebuchet! <laughs> uh, though the uh, demeanor and prowess of the figure kind of has altered drastically in your vision as you. Uh, you, you can use the other one, Silas. <laughs> I set your stuff up. You can just drag them out. Everyone can see how much freaking health you have now, you monster. <laughs> you fuck. Oh, no, work with me. What? He's roll 20. Freakazoid. You see? Anyone who's looking or anyone who has their attention mm. grasped by a figure walking through the gate. Uh, Silas, you assume, although they look a bit more feral, I suppose, than their mm -hmm. kempt demeanor. Mm -hmm. A lot of their armor seems to be missing. Like that bulky two-shoulder pad paladin figure is definitely not there. There's just kind of a asymmetrical frame walking into town. <laughs> and yeah, if the, you're not looking, whole... Comet Melody is definitely trying to get your attention. You know, I, I'm looking at my other stuff, but yeah. Oh, and like, I noticed... The gambeson underneath is just completely destroyed. 
I'll uh, run up as much as I can, which is this far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll initiative. We've got to measure this out. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so, this you're back. I was, I was like about to cast sending, so like I break <laughs> it. <laughs> Hi. I said um, I would be back. Are, are you okay? Um, your armor is all cracked and gone. He'll lift up his uh, mildly mangled arm. Oh, geez. I'm good enough. <laughs> Here you no, you're gonna, you're gonna let me help. Fine. Uh, Melody runs up. Uh, Come and taught me how to do it as well. Can I, can I help? I would uh, like to sit down. Sure, we can. Uh, we'll carry him over here. Uh, but we and I'll like wrap my put my arm around his shoulder and with my other arm like kind of on his torso on the side. Cast a cure wound. Melody picks up your tail. <laughs> <laughs> they try to be He's helpful. Helping. There you go. Nine healing. Woo. Sick. Uh, so you all waltz your way over to the main house. Um, do you drag a chair oh, outside this- or do you go inside to grab a seat? There's no sleep house here. Dang. No, this is the sleep house. <laughs> it's like it's like I a won't... it's like a three story. It has like separate rooms for everyone. It's it's cool. Right. We'll walk in separate room. Well, I mean, if you want, you know, that's a... there's no like <laughs> <laughs> there's no like uh, just sleeping bags on the floor. No, 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 no. <laughs> unless oh, unless you want to do that in like the the living room of the downstairs. The bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, looks like we're all sleeping in the same place. Uh, <laughs> now we'll, we'll walk in. Alright, so Flotsam and Hellion, I suppose, if you did not notice them walking in, you do notice now Silas being walked inside looking mightily beat up. And yeah, anyone figured else that was going to happen. Um, but I know that uh, if if Silas is with Comet, I'm just going to kind of let them have... Hmm. I'm going to wait for Silas to approach us. I'm not going to go after Silas after they had this big, like, I need to be alone and kill some shit and then come back. Like, I'm not going to be like, hey, how's it going? Like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, we'll wait. I'll do the same thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't think mm-hmm. I would address it um, based on, especially based on Raw not uh, addressing mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. How does how does Melody look though? Uh, Melody looks somewhat concerned. You can see like the glint in their eye as if they want to show Silas everything they've shown everyone in this <laughs> place still. Um, but they definitely have a concerned look, a- a- as if they like. Kind of don't recognize Silas that much. As if they're kind of worried about what's in front of them. And uh, Graham kind of just nudges you for ready, and as you come forward, he's like, What happened to the big man? Going outside again. Okay. <laughs> uh, his hometown got kind of wrecked by demons. And there really wasn't much we could do about it. And I think Silas blames himself a little bit because the only thing that was protecting them from the demons was also a thing that was enslaving them and we had to dispatch it. So it's a bit of a bit of a tricky situation right now. And it's just one of the things that uh, he's dealing with. There's a whole other thing going on with his family. I don't know much about, but it sucks. <laughs> He looks in genuine shock from hearing all this. <laughs> kind of sweeps his hair yeah. back. Well. She- yeah, it's rough. It's rough out there, man. That's why I don't go out there. It's freaky. Yep. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe we just give Silas some space. Uh, I think Comet is pretty good at 
helping Silas work through stuff. Oh, it's great, actually, it, it, for, for anybody uh, that I've noticed. Should be like, is there a kind of doctor for like when you're feeling bad? Is that a thing? <laughs> I'm not there, sure if just like, <laughs> probably. I can't see why not. He's, like... he's good at healing wounds, but he's also good at like talking people through stuff. <laughs> like he does this a lot, and he's really talented at it. I wonder if he's like he can make a living doing that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if psychiatry has been... <laughs> Psychi- is that it? Is that what it's called? Yeah, psychiatry? Yeah. <laughs> I would just cast a bunch of spells on him, to be honest. I just, like, calm emotions or whatever, you know? Like, send him out the door. <laughs> Give him a slap on the back. I think, I I think how should be a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, yeah. Or, I think that's, that sounds right. So inside a comment, you sit Silas mm-hmm. down on one of the many chairs, couches, or yeah. tables. Probably stay around the main area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go upstairs without... You don't want to drag a person upstairs. Yeah. Not at Sitting 19 down. health. <laughs> yeah, he'll start unbuckling the armor and telling Comet every single place that he got hit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, I was... As this is, as uh, Silas is explaining that, um, I'll waste the rest of my uh, level one slots trying to like place on where he like points to one of the slash marks hmm. for cure wounds. Very focused healing. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll like try to. So there's here. I'm gonna pump another two in there. Jazz them up. Yeah, so 8 and a 10. Damn. Healthy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. D- did you. Um. Find what you needed? <sighs> I got out what I needed to get out. <sighs> I was just mm-hmm. too angry to be around people. I didn't want to take it out on any of you. So I decided to take it out on the creatures that took my home from me. I can get that. This anger... Do you think it's... gone? I don't think this anger is going to be gone for the rest of my life. It's... I think it's a part of me now. Is it yours? I think it's the one true thing I can remember. I think that's maybe better. I don't know who was doing it, but what we saw with Abby, that's very similar to what you were doing when your eyes were blue. The way you feel about her, I was starting to feel about you. I don't know who that was, but I don't want them to have a hold of you. If this anger is yours, that might be a good sign. I think today was my... He'll look at his shoulder where uh, he was touched by his goddess and all the destroyed sacrificial shoulder. I think today was the day where I finally shirked off all of my chains. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'll like go behind him and uh kind of just like drape my arms around him. <laughs> <laughs> uh you can kind of see Melody has kind of taken a step back and it's kind of just been listening. They haven't attempted to heal Silas or show them any magic. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know is probably taking a lot of restraint. Yeah. Um, but oh, they, they, I think they kind of I'm start stepping to like make for the door. They 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 kind of they kind of making their ways. And uh, I'll like if, if, if you I see, address them. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I see this, I'll like put my I'll take my arms off and I'll, oh, uh, I think um, Melody's actually been very excited today seeing everyone. If you're up for it. I think they wanted to show you something. Um, I'm gonna go light the fire. I'll be back. Uh, it, I'll take Melody with you. I need to become not a red person right now. <laughs> I am okay. very gross. Is there a shower or a bath? I haven't checked. Any Probably river nearby. Melody, do you know? Uh, they kind of like jolt as you address them, and they uh, kind of point outside. the The bridge is over water. I uh, there might be some stuff upstairs. I don't know. I can ask. I don't think Maybe it's a good idea for you to go over the bridge. <laughs> we can go check. I can leave the fire for later. I can check with you. Um. So I'll grab Silas and be like, we can, let's go up. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not, uh, sure how everyone else is right now, but after we check up on that, um, we might want to talk about what to do next with everyone else. Hmm. But let's get you washed up. Yeah. So we'll go upstairs to look for a bathroom i guess yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> melody a wash uh, basin mm -hmm. melody struts his way out to jo join the rest of you over here uh as you guys go up and there is like a, a a bathroom it's probably on the base floor because why would it be any higher that would be weird how would you get how'd you get the water up there <laughs> <laughs> a bucket you need like pressure pumps <laughs> or something <laughs> there is a place to to <laughs> clean oneself there is a bathroom in the base floor that is Above rather large. Water? Yeah, like, what? What? <laughs> and, uh, those right. of you outside, when, when Melody approaches, they, they don't seem to, like, really address any of you or, or say anything. They're, they're kind of just looking at the ground. I want to I wanna pipe up when Melody comes over, and I'll say, uh... Melody! How are you doing? How are you enjoying your time here? Um, they, they look up at you, kind of snapping back to reality. Uh, roll an insight, just from kind of looking at him and addressing them yourself. See what, see what your, see what your heart of hearts says. Sure, my insight's really great at minus two. Oh, brilliant! I got a ten. I got, nice. I got average actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's probably not a hard emotion to read on someone. Especially on someone who is new to emotions, who shows them in, like, very obvious ways. Uh, Melody is scared. He's, he's, like, in, like, near terrified state. Like they've just seen some shit. What's, what's troubling you? Uh, they, they kind of shake their head and wave you off a little. It, it's nothing. is it like you tell us your friend is angry yeah very angry and you're feeling his anger right they, they kind of give like a half nod as if they even know it's hard to explain how they do what they're doing 
Is that normal? People often feel this anger? Oh, yeah. That's the thing about feelings, is you can't always pick and choose what you feel. You just have to experience it as it happens. But the only thing that we can control uh, is how we react to our feelings, right? So Silas has been very angry, uh, and Silas went out to go take his anger out on things that are already hostile, that we would already be fighting just because they would fight us, right? Uh, instead of taking it out on the rest of it, I assume. I probably would have done the same thing. So, uh, and it's not, you know, obviously, like, you're feeling it. It's not fun, but that's part of the deal. We get good feelings, happiness. Someone says a joke and it's funny, we laugh. And then when things like this happen, we feel angry, we feel great. They, they, they kind of unstiff, like their, their shoulders were definitely very tense as they walked out. They seem a little bit more okay knowing that, like, this is a common feeling for people. Uh, and they, they definitely, like, look around to the rest of you to, like, triangulate this knowledge to see if that is kind of true with everyone. Yeah, look, look to you, Verity, and just what have you? What makes people this angry? <laughs> sort of just like look at them and say, everything, really. I <laughs> shoot their when eyebrows. You certain, <laughs> when you get to a certain point. It can all just kind of blend together. It's uh, hard to explain. Kind of nod slowly and then kind of look up at you, Flotsam, and your ever expressionless face. And then they kind of just like their, their face kind of creeps over with their curiosity. Do you feel anger? Yes. <laughs> All the they're gonna idly incite you <laughs> as if they're like, like they're kind of not sure if that is true. And, and, and I'm more hopeful that it is than. Um. Yeah, I think I think Flotsam feels. Yeah, feels you, you definitely Although feel. Not, um. Melody. Anger, comparable to some other emotions. Um, one of the emotions that can be a driving motivational factor in the decision-making of some individuals. And as an energy source, it is much like that of a fire, in that it can provide the energy that you need, but left uncontrolled it can cause a lot of damage to the person who, who intends to wield it for that purpose. It's not something to be afraid of, but it is something to be aware of and to keep control of. It's like a lot of other emotions in that respect. It kind of gives you like a, a, a solemn nod as if, like, almost they're disappointed in how that works, in, like, how complicated things are. Yeah. I'm gonna, like, Ross sort of, like, looking down at the flagstones as she's sort of, like, listening to, you know, Radian and, and Flotsam's answers. And, uh, and then she... You know, she kind of looks at everybody here and then looks back at Melody and says, um... Melody, um... I want to... I want to first compliment you on on your speech. It's gotten a lot better since the last time. Uh, 
This is like the first whole conversation I think we've had. Kind of a neat one, too. I have been meaning to maybe talk to you about something, um, because you have a lot of questions about emotions, because I think you feel them very powerfully. And I want to... I've had a, a conversation, I think, similar to this with Flotsam after he first woke up. And I think maybe you need to hear a bit of it. So it's kind of a comparison about what it's like to be alive and what that means. Uh, life, existence, is kind of like uh, the ocean. The ocean this expanse of water. Uh, it expands so far along the horizon, it's almost, it seems like it goes on forever. The depths of it are so deep and filled with so much possibility and wonder and beauty. And it calls to us pirates, like Brilliant Blocks and Black Sun. Uh, promises us whatever we seek, adventure, love, riches, freedom. Uh, but most people can't control the winds and waves. If you're adrift at sea, you're at its mercy. When we are at sea, we are at the mercy of the sea. And many foolish people forget that. Uh, they might be ignorant of the danger of going out onto the ocean. Uh, and it's unreasonable for even the greatest sailors to stare out at the vast majesty of it and demand that it bend to their will. Uh, the ocean, without hearing them, without a mind of its own, will generally punish them in time. Um, the melody of what we can do is prepare ourselves for the worst that it has to throw us. We can study sailing, gather a com competent and trustworthy crew, uh, and sail a well-made ship that can withstand uh, the buffeting of the waves along the sides and when storms hit. Because when the storm hits, and the rain feels like bullets as it's hitting you from the side, and the lightning strikes the crow's nest, and, and the deck tilts nearly vertical, and you slip overboard, and all seems lost. And then I want to grab Melody by the hand. Someone else. Going through that exact same chaos, without much control over it themselves, perhaps, perhaps risking themselves, grabs onto you, and lifts you back up there. That's what I mean when I say life is like the ocean. Uh, we all want the best things from it. Friendship, wealth, love, fun. Fun's my favorite. That's the one I like the most. Happiness and peace and freedom. But life, like I said, isn't just the good stuff. Life is everything. Right? There's violence. There's poverty, depression, betrayal and cruelty. Unfairness. Hatred and stupidity. <laughs> stupidity and war. Right? When you're alive, you get it all. You don't get to choose what you get. It's up to us. And then I'm going to kind of gently squeeze her hand. I'm going to grab Flotsam's hand, too, uh, to kind of show, like, a camaraderie. Um, it's up to us to look out for each other, pull each other back up on deck when we fall overboard, because life is blind to our struggles. Like, it doesn't choose who it goes easy on, uh, or who it makes suffer. We do have a choice. And while I recognize the truth that life can have this ugliness to it, when I stare at the storm and know this is real and bigger than me, and I can't stop these storms from happening, I know what I can stop is my friends from succumbing to it. Melody, your greatest power People might say otherwise, but your greatest power isn't your magic or your ability to play music or any of that other stuff. Your greatest power is the first power that you displayed when we met you, when we got you out of that glass that you were trapped in. It's ended. In all of the ways that you excel in which you, uh, others might make you feel different, what makes you like the rest of us is your ability to feel how others are feeling, and to question exactly what you're doing, questioning and trying to understand that. That makes us way more alike than different. Whether, uh, whatever you do, as you grow and learn more about the world and about others and about yourself, never lose that power. Never 
abandon that, never get rid of that, because that is what is going to connect you to everybody else. Uh, you got spirit. You're like you're like us. Like you just you just want to understand, and sometimes it's really hard. Um, but that's what we've got to do as as uh, sentient beings adrift at sea. Is like stick up for each other and try to understand each other. Um, and hopefully, the questions that we have, we get answers to, and get those answers together. And then she ends her speech. <laughs> uh, yeah, Melody kind of looks a little stunned. But you hear, like, a slow, like, very muffled glove clap coming from Graham as he looks <laughs> genuinely <laughs> surprised as well. <laughs> like, I, I look to Graham and I'm like... Do you want to hold hands too? We're all kind of holding hands here. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt a little left well. out. I was going to take Viridians, but I think he would Sarah. bite it off. <laughs> Sarah, you've been lurking. That's fine. If you want to join, you can. No she she looks like her mind was blown. Like this is like like a teenager, <laughs> like fourteen year old <laughs> kid who was just like told all this, like just backhanded with it. <laughs> basically, just oh god, what is existence? It's like the ocean. We just told her. Like, you should not listen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't get it? <laughs> so simple. Yeah. Hold on. I had a mic I wanted to drop. Where did yeah. I get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his eyebrows are shut up. Did you practice that in the mirror, Rod? Bloody hell. Well, I, well, I told you I, I said something like this to Flop some once. And actually, I can't take full credit for that. This was said to me, too. Um more eloquently than I put it, uh, but it's been a kind of guiding force in my life, kind of like a compass, actually. It steered me right, and it helped me. Anger is an emotion I know very well. Uh, my nickname, the Hellion, doesn't come from me being very polite and well-behaved. I have a tendency to lash out when I'm angry and, and behave recklessly. And I know what that can feel like. And in a weird way, maybe not as... Oh, no, yeah. I think I know a bit of what Silas is going through. I haven't gone through this in a long time, this sort of emotion. It's, it's like, this is very fresh for him. And that anger is very raw and real. Mine, when I felt like that, been a long time, a bit fake, but I know that feeling and what it has cost me, in addition to the impetus or the, the cause of it, and I know that my life is better now for having confronted the source of that anger and dealt with it in a way that's productive and not destructive, um, which was hard. And took a long time, and that sort of speech was something that set me up right on that course. And I just felt like maybe Melody might want to hear that now. I guess I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they both kind of grim kind of gestures to him as they both seem to nod, and, and Melody kind of taking their hand back from yours seems to like rub at their chin as if they're still kind of processing it. Mm -hmm. They're probably like playing it in slow motion in the head again just to <laughs> try to fine tune it. They probably have a perfect memory and they can just record <laughs> everything. Mm -hmm. No, you, that a lot of that does make sense. Ra. Thank you. Uh, anytime. And also, I wanted to say this I noticed, like, people were kind of pulling you aside to talk. I wanted to say this openly. Like, we can just talk openly about this type of stuff. Like, that's fine. You don't always have to pull people aside. It sometimes feels good to have someone's, you know, confidence if you just want to speak with one person. But I feel like um, it's okay to address these types of things openly with people you trust. I'm going to... I want to just, like, squeeze uh, the Hellion's hand just, like, a little bit and just say... I think with that, um, I will be turning in for the time being. 
Yeah, it's getting kind of late. Melody, perhaps we could play some music together tomorrow. <laughs> they kind of look excited, but when you say tomorrow, the excitement kind of goes away, and then they, <laughs> they kind, of, kind of nod. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> when? Tomorrow? When, what time? As soon as the both of us rise tomorrow, we can play music together. They nod. <laughs> I don't think either of you sleep. So like... <laughs> Does Melody not sleep? Wait, I don't... Uh, you've never seen them sleep, but you can yeah. assume they might. I, I enter an inactive stage. All right, I, 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 have to I gotta get my four hours of inactive stage. <laughs> yeah, I have to get that inactive. Yeah, I have to boot Again, down. Again, early start to them Windows four hours. Hey, um, Melody, I've got an idea. Then, uh, since, since people are kind of turning in, there's one spell I just got a hold of and added to my book that I haven't cast yet, but I'm excited to cast. Maybe if you want, you can learn it with uh, they, they look kind of kind of excited. They kind of shoot their eyes at everyone as if for some reason asking for group <laughs> permission to learn a spell again, but they, they, they nod. I mean, hey, you, you seem to pick up this stuff quick and this is... If it's something I can cast, then it should be easy for you. Uh, and it's something Adelaide can do too, so you can kind of join the book. Uh, and I'm essentially what I'm going to do is probably uh, it, on the first floor of the mm -hmm. the bunkhouse or whatever we're calling that building. Mm -hmm. um, Sleep house. I'm going to start. It's yeah, I'm going to start casting Find Familiar uh, <laughs> as a ritual, and um, I'll have like. Uh, the whole thing set up and i'll kind of show uh basically I'll, I'll show the the original scroll that i bought to melody so melody can cast it with me okay so they're learning how to ritually cast spells i also no, just i want to see what kind of familiar melody would summon mm -hmm. like is it just like a full adult dragon? Like what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like what is their familiar gonna look Comet like? Comet just shows up in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> no, he's like you belong to me now. <laughs> well, now my familiar, big man. Let's go. <laughs> Carry me. When I enter the um, the the sleep house, um, mm -hmm. do I am I able to see Silas and Comet or <laughs> yeah, them? I, I assume you both have cleaned up by now and now. Uh, Unless yeah, you're doing very... something while you're cleaning up that we need to know okay. about, mm -hmm. like fluffy, just <laughs> <laughs> now. The question is for Comet: Did he join Silas? Oh no! Uh, I, think I was just trying to like help out. May maybe there was like something where I had to like probably wash off too, um, but yeah. that's probably it. So <laughs> mm -hmm. just a mutual shower together. Don't worry about it. It's yeah. fine. Someone's gonna scrub the back. Uh -huh. and if you want to know what happened in that, you're going to have to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read the full hours fan hours fiction. Yeah. The fan fiction yeah, read by Silas and Comet. <laughs> Just oh like that. Comet. I like the idea that Comet's about to walk away from the room to give Silas some primacy, and then si uh, Silas just grabs Comet by the back of the uh, whatever, like uh, the oh. tavern, and just like, mm -hmm. I need help. Scrubbing my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Getting too racy. Not entirely um, on canon, but yeah, I mean, they walk in and they're probably both with towels on their heads. Yeah, very, very like overly fluffy. Mm -hmm. Orbs. Are you two going to bed? Oh, um, just kind of pull it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was kind of the plan. Um. Mm -hmm. But I did want to ask everyone what, what, where we want to head towards tomorrow. Because I have an idea, and if that's the case, we might have one other person to ask. I'll, like, look over to the fact that, like, the Hellion is um, with Melody doing, like, their thing over there. Oh, Would yeah, you like me upstairs. to go? Oh, they're upstairs. Yeah, I think they're um, right past you. The Hellion and Melody <laughs> are um, upstairs. Do you, would you like me to grab Adelaide and Viridian so that we can have a conversation before we all turn in for the night? Yeah, I think that would probably be for the best. 
Uh, and, I, and I'll and I'll add um yes I can go and grab them I see that the two of you are and I'll like look at both of them <laughs> occupied <laughs> and I will oh, moonwalk oh. out of the uh, yeah, uh, just... <laughs> we'll look at each other and look down and then oh I should probably put a shirt on <laughs> or to hit the reverse on the wheelies I'm blushing because I have these two big beefy dads in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like, I like lean back in. Uh, the towel it can also cover the um, your lower half. <laughs> <laughs> I will give oh, you much time to become decent. <laughs> I'll fit in the uh, the bathing room. I like, I like the idea. There's only two towels, and their first thought was, "Well, we need this for our main." Like, okay. <laughs> That's where the most hair is. So. <laughs> Um, oh, no. and I'll go out and I'll, um, I guess I'll tell Viridian, um, oh, Viridian's gone. So I'll tell Adelaide first, yeah. <laughs> not Viridian, uh, but <laughs> Nugs is definitely gone. Mm-hmm. I'll walk over to, uh, uh, if Adelaide still has something that, uh, she's doing, you can do that. And I'll approach whenever you're finished with. She's her. And pretending to be busy while y'all were having like grand soliloquies about the meaning of life <laughs> and the importance of bonds with other people. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I don't want to be there. <laughs> Adelaide, the rest of the party would like to have a discussion about how things look for us in the future, if you're not occupied of, as of now. Oh, I was I was just wrapping up over here. Um, let's discuss then, and she'll walk past you. Do, 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 do. I like the idea when you said wrapping up, Grey Cat was like gift wrapping something for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like I'll, I charge um, extra for the service, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll will, I will have told Viridian. Um, I don't know if he yeah. necessarily would have joined. I, I just, um, they'll, they'll hang on the wall in the room, <laughs> assuming they'll come the back wall. mid conversation. <laughs> And then I'll go up. I'll also like go upstairs and kind of like let the Hellion know like what we're doing, and just kind of let her know like hmm. I will. I can let you know what what we're doing. But if you would like to be involved, I can ask them to wait a little while longer. Um, to ritual cast takes like an hour and ten minutes to do find familiar. So if you want to just wait for that to finish, uh, yeah, do I'll. That. I guess Viridian, I went out and asked you if you wanted to come back. That the group had something that they like wanted to discuss. Um, um yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I figure uh, like it probably takes some time for uh, uh, Silas to clean up and everything, and like yeah, we, we can say this little... is all after the mm-hmm. the ritual. That's fine. Yeah, I was drenched in blood. So. <laughs> Can we give him a bath, like a little kitty bath? <laughs> oh, you missed it. Yeah, that's what we just did. <laughs> oh, damn it! You missed the two shirtless dads. <laughs> it's hey, totally so fun. You missed dad <laughs> bath time. Mm. Oh, I gotta know. What kind of familiar does Melody have? Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm, they're definitely not a pact of the chain. So, and I'm not sure if I'm willing to Aww. slice them up and, like, give them something uber unique. What if they're just, like, so at their core in a the turtle. image of, like, a human that it's just, like, a little dude? Just a little <laughs> man? <laughs> just, like, a chimp. Uh, a chimp. I mean, what, <laughs> well, I think a good answer would be what wasn't there animals that were around when Melody was being taken care of? Um, yeah, how yeah, had a whole had a bunch, bunch of little dudes. Maybe a cat. Was it Isaac who took? I'm, now I'm forgetting all the characters. Harvey. 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 Yeah, he had all the the <laughs> necro necos. <laughs> mm-hmm. Necro necos. I like that. Uh, is there like a random familiar roller out there? I'm sure there is. There, there like, has to be. You could yeah. have a hedgehog. What? I uh, I put random pet at home. Pet. My my familiar is a a a bird. 
A bird. Uh, bird. It's a bird. That um, looks kind of like, you know, like a kind of like a chicken <laughs> uh, or a pheasant. Maybe like a pheasant or some sort of waterfowl or something. Uh, but it has like bright red uh, plumage. Hmm. And some long tail feathers, and uh, kind of crows with like a, yeah. oh. a cute little, cute little. Uh, I don't know what is that? A screech? <laughs> <laughs> cry? Like a hmm. Pokemon cry? A, a cold it's a fiery name. peacock. Yeah, it's it's uh well, it sounds like no, nah, but it sounds like a, a Pokemon cry from like. You know, one of the uh, uh, game movies, it's like Bit so, Crush. It's so like, it's like, bit crush, like oh. <laughs> 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 or something like that. Uh, in copying, twenty. I got one in mind, but yeah, let's roll the D twenty. Okay. Let's just let's... don't get a nat twenty. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it. Skimmed it. That's a weasel, sir. He's got a weasel? Dude, this ain't Graham. He ain't... What are you talking about? I mean, you could just choose whatever. Yeah, that Graham was just the table I had. Um, no, I, like I, I, think, I, think, I think like a little, we, a little weasel fellow. Or you could do like a ferret weasel or something. Yeah, yeah, like a long noodle boy. Yeah. Let's go. A little stoat. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. He conjures a weasel out of the ethereal. And it immediately like zoots up his sleeve and like he's <laughs> he's dying. This thing's crawling all around him. <laughs> I uh, I'm just like ah, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> you you all hear from upstairs two very feminine squeals of joy. <laughs> 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 oh. And then, like, the, immediately, like, fast foot, like, people run. Like, Melody is sprinting downstairs to show everyone right now. Uh, I'm, I'm right Christmas. behind, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all see Ara uh, and Melody just sprinting down the stairs, like, three steps at a time. They're, they're nearly tumbling down these things. <laughs> As Melody kind of shoots his arm forward, their arm forward. And just a weasel out of their sleeve. Mm -hmm. And they catch oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it up in front of everyone. And it kind of just goes limp in, his, in their hand. Oh no. Oh. It doesn't die, it's just plain mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm like, I, I know how the spell works, and I'm like trying to figure out how, I, how to test it out. So I, uh,. Uh, if um, if Melody sends out the weasel, I'm going to uh, have my bird fly over to the weasel, and then through my familiar cast the spell jump on the weasel. Oh. <laughs> this is oh. a touch spell, dude. The so weasel, now that is weasel got, pinging got off got the air. walls. <laughs> he, no, <laughs> dude, they cast blur on the weasel. It's going crazy. <laughs> Oh, oh no, we're we oh, no. We've gone too far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they Did do not stop me? to like ask any questions. They immediately grab it and run out the door to show everyone oh. else. What happened? <laughs> uh, I, I... Uh, we got familiars. And now, uh, I just I just cast jump on that weasel, and uh, now Melody's probably gonna go and terrify half the town. So that's great. <laughs> I don't have to deal with I'm a rogue weasel. That. Uh, hey, so um. Can familiars get lost? No, no, you always would know. And if they did, you would just uh, well. And then I like as a bonus action summon mine <laughs> to my shoulder. And I'm like, this is this is so cool, man! I've been missing out, Adelaide. I know exactly how cool this is now. I should have done this so long ago. Ah, uh, oh, I feel like comparing again. <laughs> like it's just in a state of like abject confusion and concern. <laughs> 
just stunned at the amount of things that happened in sh such a like <laughs> short amount of time. Been a busy day. Do all pirates have? No, familiar? I mean in the, the past ten <laughs> seconds. Been that a busy was a day. Long, uh, not all pirates have familiars, but all the cool pirates have some sort of pet on their shoulder. Could be a parrot or like a monkey or something. I was gonna say, yeah, Adelaide uh, has one. <laughs> yeah, Adelaide's got one. <laughs> you know, Marine's a little unusual with whirlwind, but like, hey, whatever works, works, right? <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. Hey, so I'm on his shoulder, technically. <laughs> Maybe he's the real yeah. pirate. Yeah, he's the, the real pirate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would Whoa. actually be one of the biggest, like, 180s. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest twists Huge of the game. Twist, that is all... yeah. Or like a druid just in horse form the entire time. <laughs> Never on, on uh, wild shapes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Whirlwind is the true Viridian. <laughs> he's the original. Uh... Yeah, I've actually been playing this uh, role this entire time. <laughs> Comet, uh, and mm. well, you guys are talking about um, what we're going to do next. Right. Um, kind of like finish uh, putting the little star pin on my tabard. The star gem thing. Um, yeah. We just came back. Um, and I know that I don't know if everybody wants to stay here for a while, but we did promise Virgil we would help him with the chapel. Mm -hmm. Or at least I did. So I don't I, know if... I assume that was next on the, on the list. I don't know what we're going to go up against, though. I get the feeling there might be something there. To be fair, there's something pretty much everywhere we go. And uh, it definitely seems like there might be some answers in this place. Um, I'm kind of afraid of what we might learn there. I've been processing a lot of what happened over there, too. A lot of what I was told. I didn't you know about... that was real. Wait, sorry. Are you talking about you being from the sky? Yeah, that you all definitely weird, remember I mean... a one-sided conversation with something speaking... Well, the thing in the room speaking in Celestial and Comet replying in Common. And then it killing Comet out of fury. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Lest we forget. Mm -hmm. So you're I mean, afraid of you're you're afraid of learning more about yourself. I'm afraid of it being true to an extent. Um. When I was at the academy, they they kept saying that I was important, but I didn't understand why. Did you ask? It would make them very angry when I questioned them. Oh no. Um, I wasn't allowed to be free. I was supposed to follow their schedule. I was supposed to do as much as I could, learn as much as I could. Um, and I, I left because... That wasn't something I wanted to do. But if they were right... I don't know what else... They might have been right about.
when I um when I died I met Saloon or at least that's what she said people could call her she's uh, the moon lady right mm-hmm. and yeah that's how I... she claims Silas, did you see her? You said you saw her, right? Yeah, she's the one that gave me all that. And I'll point to the broken and beaten up armor in the corner. Mm -hmm. All that in a bag of potato chips. (laughs) She said I was... (laughs) almost... sent... here. I'm one of many that fell that's what why that god they found us after a pre- the story i know they found us after a meteor shower I was in a crater. That's why they called me Comet. It's not a name I chose. And I know there's more they haven't said. And if this is, if we're going to a chapel, that's where they wanted us to be. I see. So you're worried that by going to this place, you're kind of playing into some plan or something that you didn't necessarily agree to? I've been running away from their plan. For a long time. I went into the woods. Because I didn't want to follow that plan. They hated every time I did that. I got punished. Very severely. And I. I'm afraid to find out. That I either. Have always been following that plan. Or. That maybe I tried to break away from something that was true. Then why promise to go there? Someone needs help. Tana, you're too nice for your own good sometimes, you know that? I don't know what that means. It means that you you put other people's needs before your own. Even if it means fulfilling some evil prophecy that you've been avoiding. And put yourself at risk to avoid. You're like, well, if I fulfill the prophecy to help this person, then maybe it's okay. Like, what? Okay. I, I'm not trying to, like, chastise you here, but, um... What? Is it... it, it, it basically, any chapel you go into could... Fulfill this thing? Is that is that what they said? I don't it think it's chapel? any. I haven't heard about where the chapel was. I just know that they were trying to send us to a chapel. Us? Was there other fallen, including yourself, in in this academy? Yeah. Um, I'll hold, I'll touch the gem. Um, gem. My sister. She was there with me. She took a lot of the responsibility when I didn't want to.
she was much smarter than I. So I think, um, when she showed how smart she was, they made her into the plan instead of me. I don't know if this was the chapel that she was supposed to go to, but I know that there was one close. Um, if she became the plan, then wouldn't that mean you're off the hook and can go wherever? They didn't let me break away. They said I was too important to it. I grew to dislike that word. I'm not. She was. Everyone you else like was. You all are. We are important to me. You're important to us too. I'm gonna grab Comet's hand <laughs> and kind of almost like force him to make eye contact with me just by like leading my head out. I'll just say, Comet, you're the most important person here. Because no, I can't be. You are, I think, one of the kindest people I've ever met. And if it wasn't for you keeping my back and doing what you do, you being you, I'd be a very different person right now. And is your sister the person who needs help at that church? I hope not. I know where part of her is. I don't know if... That's all? Part of her? Well, yeah, what do you mean by that? I can show you... Once it gets dark. Well, it seems like this is a decision that you want to make, but I'm happy to follow you where you want us to lead. Uh, where you want, I'll have happy to follow you where you want us to, to go. And it seems as though it could be worth our while. Um, it also appears from what I'm hearing that there'd be some valuable knowledge to acquire at this chapel. And I'll like look over at Adelaide. <laughs> you look you look over and then she immediately just looks away. She is she she looks like she's trying to be composed. Like it's it's not the usual natural standoffishness. It's more like putting up an image in this moment. And of course, Viridi and I have been meaning to test out our new battleware, and I will like <laughs> turn the little spin. <laughs> oh. is, that, is that a a flaming lady on the back? 
I just I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> I'll like, I'll I like mean, it is rhetor- it's rhetorical, obviously. I, I'm, oh, wow. I'm a little toy, toy, like, <laughs> I'm a little toy, toy robot. <laughs> I'll give, I'll give I, you a little. I, you know, I would get a, a patch like that too. Except, I mean, like, let's. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no I need right? Need one. Yeah, so it's good. Cheap, <laughs> whatever. That's awesome. We oh, at least need to get okay. one. <laughs> what does what does the coat of arms look like? Um, cheeky. What does the coat of arms look like? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> for like for uh. For Old Abel or um, Van Dyke, the, the armor that you're wearing? Because Old Abel um, is like the, right. the current armor. place. The, the, the Van Dyke crest. Um, I didn't know if this was, if you want to determine that for later, I just didn't know mm-hmm. what it was. Because, like, the, uh, put you on the, spot. The, the Knights of the Old Eva, they have, like, this thick cream colored armor and, like, the blue, uh, while the Van Dykes have that. Deep purple and black. Uh, th- their crest is definitely of this like Valkyrie esque sim- like symbology, like the helmet with like the the fans off to the side is definitely a staple of it. If not, there's like it's on a shield or something. I don't know crest like it's all fancy. A little, <laughs> like a little, a little winged helmet crest, yeah. like a cool sword, hmm. uh, and, like little light rays coming off of it. Yeah. Very Zelda esque, I am imagining. <laughs> like the light rays, like I the like wings on the. <laughs> Specifically unspecific, that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you know, it's fancy with like flourishes and like. Yeah, yeah. It looks nice. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you know, like. If, if you had to draw it like real quickly, you know, it would be like some cool. Like oh, shield <laughs> almost, you know? <laughs> with, like, mm-hmm. you know? Well, yeah, <laughs> like a cool yeah. shield, and then like the winged helmet visor in the middle, you know. I've ruined the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and then like no, this cool, is what I wanted. cool, cool wing like things, you know, like, like uh, some, mm-hmm. some cool Yo. shit like that, you know. It looks like a firefly. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> little, 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 little beetle man. Little, little beetle man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that. <laughs> Good. Where were we? <laughs> <laughs> Comment you if what you're saying is this is the next step that we need to do. I th- I I'm behind you at the very least. Flotsam, I I promised I wouldn't hurt you. And I don't know. You're pushing a button. I don't know. Um, I don't want anyone getting hurt over there because I wanted to go. Well, we can think about it like this. That chapel is the source of all those bat demons that are coming out. They're the things that destroyed my home, so I want to go stop that. About as much as the next person. <sighs> so, if Comet is not comfortable doing this cause for him, you've already done enough for me, but I would appreciate uh, some help and vengeance. I can get behind that. I want to fuck shit up. Understood. And if uh, Comet's sister happens to be there and is in peril, will you promise to help me save mine so I'll do the same for you? And help you save yours. <laughs> yeah, Verdi kind of looks around and says, no one else has another secret sister, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that Now's I know. The time. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that for certain. <laughs> My eyes any open. any sisters I have are also secret to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, same here, same here. Uh, as far as I know, I'm an only child. Um, <laughs> but uh, look, well, we're gonna go in there. Uh, 
We're doing this for a lot of reasons. It's to help you. It's to fulfill some promises. To get vengeance. It's to help, uh, you know, Virgil. And, you know, also we want some answers. If we find any cultists in there that are going to try to be like, Ah, yes, Comet, come fulfill our prophecy. We'll punch them in the dick. We'll make sure that they can't do anything to you, right? Like, we'll protect oh, oh, no. you from that. We've already stopped one Eldritch curse about bent on destroying the planet. Why not do another? Look, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Like, like that, what, what you just said sounds like, that was rough. And I'm not saying this is going to be easier than that. But it's answers. And like um, Lex pointed out, we don't have a lot of information on this. And we kind of, we did miss an opportunity. So if we can get information out of this place, that would be very good uh, for us going forward, especially if we're going to go into the city afterwards. Having a bit more, knowing more about our enemy and what's going on is going to help us moving forward and what we need to do to stop that thing from hatching or to kill whatever is inside. I do think there is something we should think about doing first before we even go near that church, I guess, is uh, Harolf mentioned a little while ago that his uh, next repair for our weapons could make them arcane in nature, which seems to be more effective against those demon creatures. Yeah, I learned that especially today that maybe we should look into acquiring better arms before we go to the nest. How would we do that? Did he say where they were? Or... Uh, we can ask him to see if he has an idea. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Better stuff for... What about the mines? Wouldn't that have like, like a special metal or something? Like, Is that what he needs? I have a feeling that might be in the observatory. Yeah, I mean... Let's 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 say this. Uh, if we if we, I feel like we're all kind of on board with going to the chapel to figure this out. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's a time sensitive thing. Like we have to go now. So if we want to do some other thing in the interest of getting our weapons upgraded, that so that we can better deal with these threats, I think that's the strategic move. I think that's the smart thing. To do. I think we should look to improve ourselves to the best we can, because if we walk into a place and try to rush around unknown, I don't want the consequences to happen again. I agree. We can hold off on talking to Virgil if that's the case. Yeah. Which is why I wanted to talk about this. We needed we needed to have this discussion. I believe it's dark <laughs> enough now if you wanted to show us what did you wanted to show us. I was actually about to ask like what time of the day is it at this point? Uh it is absolutely dark enough for a <laughs> thing to be able to be in the, like why not? Yeah, it's perfect perfect time. Did it yeah. did the sun just set? Like it did it just get No, nah, it's point? been it's been probably a little bit dark for a while. It's it set as Silas was coming back, so mm -hmm. I guess it's been I guess a little bit. Okay, cuz what I would like to do tonight before if if I could is uh maybe go just ask uh, Rolf real quick if he's still up. Probably yeah. isn't like working because it's dark, but like maybe he's hanging around the fire and like eating or something. Hmm. Um, I guess I would look outside. Like, are people still milling about? Does it look like he's out there? Uh, yeah, they definitely seem to be out there. They let's let's throw them over with a couple of boys and say they're having a brewski. Cool. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll that? offer that. <laughs> Brewski, I never heard of that. Um, oh, I guess I, I would just offer that as an open invitation to anyone else who wants to go with to go like talk to Rolf to see where he might think the best place to go to upgrade our weapon uh, to get stuff to upgrade our weapons. Would be. They could be talking. Yeah, so um, I assume now being a good time comrade, you could go out and show everyone this piece as you're all kind of making your way to ask Harolf. 
Only you can stay around to see this piece of your sister that you claim is around <laughs> here. Or they uh, can uh, sure. wait. Uh, or I can, can wait, wait until, until everyone's time. ready. Just pulls an arm out of his bag. We're like, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this right is her skull. Is this who you're talking about when you killed somebody? <laughs> I'll go out there and I'll I'll get Melody and just like maybe play a little something just while we wait. For oh hell yeah! <laughs> I'll put on uh, Comet's old tabard as like an outside coat for now. <laughs> <laughs> Getting chilly out there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand out in the plaza here, kind of uh, waiting for it to get dark enough. Oh, hmm. um, and then uh. I'll probably start heading out maybe a little bit to like the outskirts once I see people are done with what they need to do with hair off. Uh. <laughs> Roll me a performance, fell. We'll see how good this nighttime music is. Ah. That like you're singing that one classic song that starts with oh, uh, at ah. the start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? the uh the immigrant song by Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. You come from mm -hmm. the land of ice and snow. Oh hell yeah! Hey, I'm like a plus not plus ten. <laughs> uh, what what instrument did you get? Melody again? Like a weird stringed like instrument, a, like a balalaika. I mean, yeah, like a balalaika, but yeah. I, is it is it a balalaika? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got a, I have a faint I, memory in my of that. Memory, I was like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, just, it's just a stick with a string attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it looks like a bad like bow. <laughs> um, but um, but, um, but, um. but do they play the goddamn Dickens out of it? Let me tell you that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you wander over to Harold as the music kicks up behind you. Uh, Everyone kind of makes room for you. Some of them seem a bit more drunk than others from whatever they're drinking. Uh, Health is just sitting there. He's he's the quiet kind of drunk. He's just kind of sitting there looking forward. But you can see his like mustache is covered in a bit of liquid. Hey! How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, they all in unison say something, so it all kind of blurs together, but you... Yeah, you just, it's, good. it's positive mm -hmm. attitude all around. So, sounds like everyone's uh, doing okay. I, Isaac, you... You dressed them well after what happened? What happened? Hmm? I'm sorry, it wasn't Isaac, it was Mason! I'm sorry. Got a little confused there. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> what happened to me? Uh, Something happened to me? Uh, <laughs> My dad? Uh, you know, that thing. Uh, right. uh, look, uh, for all, um, as yeah. the resident smithy uh, and maker of weapons and armor, we kind of need better weapons, and we don't obviously have the stuff for that right now. Where would you surmise we go to get the stuff you need to make our weapons magical or arcane for the purposes of killing demons and stuff? <laughs> the camera keeps. What the hell? I'm good. Uh, he kind of like looks in your direction, but he's kind of got that like the, the the Brock expression. He never opens his eyes. And kill them demons. Well, suppose if you want to defeat them, you're gonna need arcane weapons. So you're right. Um, I'm sure the town. He kind of gestures at the town. I'm sure, this smithy in there was well equipped, but that's in the town. And those guards are kind of blocking that off for now. You could head down to the, uh, the fellows underground. They, uh, have dealings with the drow, I think. Now, Underkin, the Draugr, I think they're called. I don't know any of these words you're saying. 
I guess these are these are just people that live underground. Yeah, they deal with all sorts of underground affairs. Weird animals, weird metals. If you could find a way down there, I heard there's a little encampment close by the elevator that's down there. But I have never gone down there. I've just been given shipments from down there that have some pretty unique stuff. You gave me some tools from down there, I'm sure I could fix you up some better weapons. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that was definitely a place that we knew we could go, but we didn't really have a reason until just now. Um, that I think will be our plan then tomorrow. To get better stuff so you can make better things. I do like making things. We like the things you make. Well, yeah. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> <laughs> they, kind of, they raise their glass abruptly, like <laughs> spilling like a bit of it. Yeah. Uh, I gotta let everybody know that that's gonna be our plan tomorrow. Uh, but I will catch all you gentlemen in the morning. Have a good night, everybody. Alright. <laughs> all of them kind of let out a, a, a Mexican wave of cheer as you leave. <laughs> <laughs> they're so like, <laughs> like they're cheering like, oh thank God she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then uh, yeah, just uh, oh, the camera was probably me. that's like the end of Flotsam's song with melody too, because that was a short conversation. Never ends. And I'll just um, yeah, once everyone gathers up, I'll just relay that. Hmm. They're there jazzing it up, like <laughs> yeah, just crazy. keep going and going. <laughs> Come to an end. Mm. <sighs> yeah, ends on a nice C chord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no! I'm play C. <laughs> Horizontal C. <Hey. laughs> All guitar music is horizontal. Well, yeah, only the good part of it. <laughs> that was the vertical, in case. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, if everyone's like, kind of starting to come around, hmm. I think um, I'm gonna try to see if um the Baba does the Babacon around here have a lot of lights. Um. Not really. I, I I think it's all just probably like wall sconcy and like indoor lighting. Not a lot. Kind of bleeds into the sky, as like mm. super lighted cities might do. Do you think okay. you would get a way clearer picture if you were out in the forest a little bit? Mm. But with a, a a bit of with a mediocre perception, I suppose you could point it out. Um. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and try to, like, guide everyone outside to maybe, like, the outskirts of the wall. Hmm. Uh, kind of around there. Trying to see if there's any, like, keep close, but enough to where <laughs> yeah. we're outside a little bit. Yeah. I don't want to get jumped by zombos while we're out here. Yeah. So you all, uh, assuming you all heading with Oops. Comet. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, just don't go. I'm, uh, I'll stay here. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> you guys, you guys all get out there. Yeah. Comet turns around and then casts like a really high level hold person on all of us. We're like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> the prophecy <laughs> is now. <laughs> you know it too much. Fools. Are you really not going, or are you going? Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, okay. I was like... <laughs> um. Okay. 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 I'm gonna, so you wander into I'm, I'm, the, the kind of outskirts of the walls, um, not too far. You don't think you'll be attacked being too close to this place. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, just far enough so that the firelight and all that stuff isn't yeah. kind of. Um, I'm going to go ahead. And, uh, I'm going to sit down. Um, whenever I would be able to. 
escape with Gem. We'd have a lot of fun looking up at the night sky. We came up with our names for the constellation. There's the sword. There's the dragon. And I'll point to each constellation that I'm pointing to. Yeah, you, you'll see uh, very familiar star constellations that, like, maybe you didn't know they were constellations, but you definitely recognize that shape in the sky. I and, to, like, uh, try to trace with yeah, my finger. Definitely the brighter stars that you can okay. see. There's the flower. That was her favorite. Oh, and, um, I wonder if there's still, um, the sheep. That one helped me fall asleep because there's so many stars in it. I would always get to 10 and that would be it. Um, I wonder if, and now I'm going to cast, um, wild companion Oof. and find a summon. I'm going to cast find familiar, <laughs> uh, as an action and a fail streak of light comes out from the 10th star and right in front of me you see the biggest fluffiest sheep you've ever seen oh, <laughs> just yeah. shimmering out of there because it's a fey creature so it's pretty like bright and shiny and I was like oh this is Decca um she would help me fall asleep I'd use her as a pillow she'd be okay with it though you see, let out a bleat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> wow. Uh, I was just about to say we have like different names for the constellations. Because I thought uh, Meridian and Autumn, like, we use the stars to navigate on the ocean, so we kind of like know a specific, like, common vernacular from. You guys came up with new names for all of that. That's. That's wild. Yeah, that was uh, my favorite thing to do, and she really enjoyed coming along with me. But that was the problem. She wasn't supposed... Us leaving was kind of what oh, the people yeah. in the academy didn't want. Yeah, she... Yeah. They wanted us to be inside the entire time. You said you were bringing us out here to see your sister. Yes. Um. When I crossed the line, I went outside too many times. She, she got. <laughs> Why click sheep? What the... <laughs> she Important. got. We were warned that there would be a punishment if we kept going out. <laughs> when we went out too many times, she got caught. Well, we got caught, and she took the blame. Because of that, they decided to send her away to separate us. They thought I was preventing her from completing what she needed. When she got sent away, her carriage didn't reach her location. She died on that trip because of me. I got her sent away. She took my blame. I killed her. No, you didn't. If she hadn't come out with me, she wouldn't have been dead. That doesn't make you her murderer.
I'm I've sorry been... about what happened. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry for your loss. But you're not responsible for that. After I learned, I couldn't be there anymore. I broke out. I escaped. I lived in the woods. But when I looked back up to remind myself of her, I found a new constellation. And I point to it and I say, that's Jem. She's there. When she fell, she went back up. And I've been talking to her every night, or at least the nights I could. And when I recognized her, I started being able to do things I wasn't able to do before. I could help people. I could cure them. And if that... Since that's her... I decided... To try to find... Any way... I can ask for her forgiveness. So that when I go... Up there, it would just be Gem, Gem and I together. As I'm holding my little gem on my tabard, uh, cheeky. What's up? When Com when Comet points up to the new constellation. As someone proficient navigator's tools and anyone else who has that proficiency, would we notice that there's new stars in the sky that we yeah, just... I was going to ask, do we, do we recognize the constellation um, it points to? You'd recognize it because it's... It definitely did kind of like... And now you think back on it, it did show up one day. Like, it was a new one. People started talking about, like, well, there's some new stars we can kind of use now. Like, we're not sure where they came from or how that happens, but you just had new stars you added to your chart. It wasn't, like, too much of a big deal, but it was just like, hey, here's the new charts. Like, use these now. So, the fact that an eldritch being <laughs> said that Comet was one of them and, like, this fallen entity, the fact that he just summoned this fey sheep out of the sky, <laughs> and the fact that it all correlates with stuff we knew from before we even got here, uh, the legitimacy of everything that Comet just said, like, really starts to sink. Whoa. Comet. I think... I think your sister... If, if she's anything like you described, doesn't blame you for what happened to her. And so there's nothing to forget. She's the lovely person that you have uh, said that she is. And you were forgiven before blame could even be thrown upon. I think what you're feeling is just guilt that you weren't there to help her. And I think that that's something, that's a feeling that we all share in our own way. That's why I came here. When I found these flowers, take the flower out of my ear. These were her favorite. I ran out of them in the woods I 
ran too. I couldn't find any more. Whenever I wanted to say sorry to her, I would give her one. When I learned that there were more in this area, I came for them. This book, I don't care what it says. But it's filled with all the flowers, all the twinkles I've been able to find. When I go, this is what I bring to her. So when I didn't see her, I didn't know what to do. Saloon told me that she knows what I'm doing. Saloon told me that she made this for me. And I'm holding out my tabard. She gave this to me. So. She's even better at gift. But I don't think I've collected enough. They helped me cast my spells. That's not why I'm collecting them. But that is her. So I hope that's all of her. There would be times where people would find me talking out here in the woods and I wasn't sure if anybody was listening. Maybe I was just talking to the moon. But now I know. And I want to make sure the next time I go, she's there. That moon, I don't want to say anything to. So I don't know what we will find in the chapel. But I think we should be ready. Sheep, let's add another bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... On it. Scooch over towards him. <laughs> um, can I pet your sheep? <laughs> yeah, I think she'd like that. I'm just going to put both my hands on uh, Comet's shoulder. I just thank you for sharing all this. I don't think we can quite comprehend everything but I'm going to try so take it from this old simple farmer man that <sighs> I'm going to see if I can I'll do my best to help you accomplish your goal and help you see your sister again Kind of grab his hand and look up, say, 
Sisters are important. I'll do the same for you. We have a lot to do, then. I, I think we should all go to bed. I counted oh. to ten. I'm pretty sleepy. <laughs> I want to see how Viridian and Adelaide are reacting to this. Um, I, I don't imagine Viridian says a whole lot. I think he just kind of looks with like a um, just a quiet respect for like Comet's determination. Um, and probably just agrees when the motion is made to make camp. <laughs> What is Adelaide doing? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> mostly just trying to absorb information. But. I don't know. I get. Oh, how, how observant is, is Flotsam being? Just like a, a quick, like. Uh, <laughs> uh, since we've gotten back, I've wanted to pay a little bit more attention to how, like, everyone has been reacting to, like, one another. And so, like, this is something that I, I've, I'm trying – I'm specifically trying to pay attention to how, the like, everyone is, is, like, reacting to this. So the answer to your question is, I guess, like, it's not, it's not like, a, a fleeting look that I'm, like, actually trying to, like, pay attention to, like, how everyone's responding. Gotcha, gotcha. Adelaide just seems to be frustrated then at like continued mentions of like you know someone that's so important it essentially like fuels your whole purpose <laughs> essentially got it after watching I'll go over and I'll pet the <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> This is so soft. <laughs> like, right? No wonder you use the sheet as a pillow. Like, this yeah. is just like a living pillow. From the stars. <laughs> yeah. Real soft. I mean. <laughs> right. You could see she has so much wool. I can really tell how soft this is with my ability to feel. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's kind of, she can't stay here for too long. She's got to stay, she's got to go back up there. So I think yeah. her hour, yeah, she, her hour's up. So I'll see you later, Deco. And she was just hey. like in a flash. And then you see the star back up on the, the sheep constellation. So I was counting nine and getting stuck, you know, they couldn't. Yeah. Like, where's ten? Where's ten? <laughs> yeah, they, ten's got to get up there. I wonder if Comet ever like had like a good like sleeping situation where where he's just like hmm he summoned her down to like jump over a fence and run around and jump over so he can count sheep. I mean, he just laid like with his head on her and luckily was always able to get to sleep before she had to go back. I imagine there's like a comet-sized head print in their fleece, <laughs> <laughs> just permanently. Just imagine. I imagine you're leaning on the sheep, and then when it turns into light, goes back in the sky. Your head just like hits the ground. <laughs> yeah. But I'm out like a light at that mm. point. Mm. So, uh, Decker vanishes. Mm -hmm. uh, Ra, I assume you take this chance to share with everyone that uh, Aroth's information. Yeah, on the way back, we're. Wa mm. I think at this point we're walking back to the. Uh, so where where did the bunk we house? Day to go because I think I was gone for that. Uh, uh, we're going Rolf? down instead of up. Yes, we're all said that there is uh, there are under underworld traitors under in the in the dark underground. In the mines. I guess. <laughs> yeah, in the, in mines. the mines. Uh, there are some traitors that might. Be able to get us the materials and tools that he needs to get oh. uh, to build better things. If that's what's under there, that I'm relieved. I thought people were might have needed help. Um, 
Maybe that too. I, I, we don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, also, actually, oh, sorry. I was gonna ask Cheeky. What we had, we had information when we went into the mines. Like we found like, like paperwork and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you like, found what like did letters. All that say? It was just like receipts, basically, of dealings with trade. people down. There. Yeah, yeah, they'll trade trade agreements. Mm-hmm. Okay. Been a hot minute. I think someone also like mentioned that there were like there used to be like trade that was done in there. If I yeah, I think right. Little Man. Yeah, the gnome. Yeah, the gnome who. Yeah, a, I, I, I forgot about Stan. Oh. Yeah, Isaac's buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Old man Stan with the shoulders in the plan. <laughs> so are we back in uh, our little yeah. townhouse? Way back yeah, in the mine. Go. Get back in. <laughs> get back in the sleep house. Yeah. The bunk house. Okay. Every once in a while, you will see Comet's cheeks just kind of glow a little bit. Mm-hmm. He's trying to not tear up. <laughs> um, I, I want to just in order to kind of process everything that happens, I want to go and just like play a song, and I will let ever like let everyone know that that's like what I'm gonna go do before I like go to bed. <laughs> um. In case anyone wanted to be there for that. Oh, mel- Melody Stan. Are you taking requests? I can sit and listen. I like your songs. Um. Yeah, sure. Did you play... <laughs> I, 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 it's one of my favorites. I think you know the one. The um, Wonderwall. <laughs> Yes. Or Wonderwall. The, uh, either Wonderwall or, or uh, the one that we play when, <laughs> when when there's no horizon on site. The whole time you play this, the drunk lads try and sing along to it, but they're <laughs> terrible at it. Alright, so that means it's, it's audience song. participation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, FYI, FYI, uh, Flotsam only knows sad songs. <laughs> Can you guys hear my uh, guitar and also me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, for now. I've lived in this place and I know all the faces. Each one is different. But they're always the same They mean me no harm But it's time that I face it They'll never allow me to change But I never dreamed home would end up Where I don't belong I'm moving on to get to the second verse. <laughs> it's like that really slow, like, mute page turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... Rob does the first time. Starts doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Pretend that I was good at playing well. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a really emotional part, so I'm gonna do the, do the next part. <laughs> I sold what I could and I packed what I couldn't stopped to fill up on the way out of town i love like i should but i live like i shouldn't i had to lose everything to find out and maybe forgiveness will find me where down this road I'm moving on Yeah. Oh, damn. Fuck, I teared up. <laughs> I think that That's our bard. <laughs> I don't think we could leave off session 28 on a better note. So I think oh, this is where the session, song. yeah, this is where the session will have to end with all you getting a long rest. 
<laughs> All right, cool. Uh, get it? Better note. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like Melody wanted to join in, but was then just like captivated. Like they were just like, I, I want to listen. Hmm. We. Uh. Holy moly. And for the record, Holy that was uh, "I'm Moving On" by Rascal Flatts. <laughs> Can we, we need like a compilation after all this of like Fell's greatest mm. hits. Really should have been Solid keeping on. track of the songs that I've been playing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> should have been keeping track of what parts they were in and when. Who, yeah, uh, who wants to volunteer to go through the past 26 episodes and find <laughs> where... I think there's only been like like five or six songs, so mm. can should mm. be that. You just gotta scroll until you see the guitar pop up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think, I think I don't, sometimes you songs. have it up and you're just sometimes, muted as you're sometimes practicing. I, sometimes mm -hmm. I play because when people do like little song, like little like side things, I like to just like play chords and like listen to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I promise oh. I'm paying attention. <laughs> well, that's it. We. Yeah, we had a uh, metamorphosis. Someone, someone switched up their character. As their oath was broken and they wanted a change. And, we'll find out to what uh, later? Are you just full barbarian now? <laughs> we'll find out to what later. Well, mm. I mean, just looking at the health of Lauren, we can get hints. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just well, get yeah. ridiculously good health rolls on the new health, so. All right. My god. Which weren't in the game, Probably by the still way. a martial class. I'm not a wizard. Right. Like, you didn't roll in-game? Uh, kinda sus, dude. Kinda <laughs> sus. I'm gonna need Ooh, receipts. Yeah. I'm gonna need receipts. <laughs> oh, sweet. I don't know we have to leave it off on yeah. this beautiful song. I kinda don't want to uh, go. I don't want to go. Great. I don't want to go. <laughs> There, there's not just leaving, a tiny really. thing I wanted to do as we were going to log rest. Um, I mean, you write it down. I think I think we can save it. <laughs> I think we can save it. We can do it after we People stop already gone. going live. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. We'll get out of here. Thank you all for showing mm -hmm. up. If anyone's Bye. watching, if anyone's Bye. watching the VOD, like, oh, hey, hi. This is for the hi. VOD watcher. Yeah. This is for the VOD watcher. <laughs> People mm -hmm. watching live, don't watch this. Close your eyes. <laughs> only VOD watchers can yeah, see only this. VOD watchers and now, to, now we have to do the high YouTube. So everyone <laughs> hit high and then buy YouTube. Yeah. Just making you sure. This and you're not subscribed. Yeah. What are you doing? All of us? <laughs> wow. mm -hmm. You sat through this whole thing and you're not subscribed? <laughs> you're 28 parts in and you're not subscribed. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of cringe, but okay. What a, what a <laughs> How cringe. I mean, I guess you do you, but yeah. it's kind of weird. We'll get out of here. Next week, hopefully, <sighs> we'll be back into some combat. Yeah. Finally, uh, blow some stuff yeah. up. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Like yeah. One more talking episode. Well, just go around. Well, we'll roleplay the talk. whole way to the mine, <laughs> dude, like nothing mm -hmm. else. Hey, and we'll, I'll, we'll just narrate each step we take. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alrighty. See us. Uh, Next week, hopefully. Yeah. Bye bye. Fly, everybody. Bye,